within us literally all the elements of our bodies. The water, the, the minerals, all the structure, the physical structure. There's no molecule in our body that is not of the earth. And animating that structure, our physical body, we are spirit. We are connected to the source, the one living mind. You can call it God. I don't care what you call it. There's obviously an intelligence that is orchestrating and organizing this third dimensional existence that we are part of, that is within us. And we are all intimately connected by that. We are, we are that. So I believe that as more and more humans can experience that remembering, that it becomes even more available to the general population. In other words, it spreads like wildfire. I also am of the belief that we're at a time where we are faced with some of our greatest challenges in recorded history. And as things intensify, there's a polarity at play. We all see that in the uh, undesirable events unfolding in the world. But at the same time, we have access to more seemingly miraculous experiences and abilities. And as we can remember our connection, that we are all one, that we are part of source, we are part of the earth, that we will awaken within ourselves and be awakened by our inherent abilities as humans, that we are limitless beings and we do not just exist within our skin that is a misperception of our five physical senses that we are truly part of this infinite living matrix this infinite living mind which essentially is love and when I use the word love it's not to be confused with human emotional or romantic love, but as I would describe it as the creative force, the creative impulse of the one living mind, which rejoices in physical expression and expansion and experience of all possibilities. It's all being played out here in the third dimension. So here we are <clears throat> in physical form, in the density of matter, and we are expanding the perception of the source, expanding its perception of self through our experiences. As if we're nerve endings that are always growing into new territory from that one living organism. So I'd like to invite people, um, after they've gone into this expanded state through the sound, and I'll talk about the significance of sound in all this in, in a moment, but um, to, you know, if, if the venue that we're in, the room that we're in has space. So I'll, I'll have people stand in a circle. And while they're in this expanded state, I'll have them breathe, you know, into their bodies, feel their bodies, feel their feet touching the floor, or touching the earth. But also look around the room and realize and remember that it's a part of themselves looking back at them when they meet the eyes of another. And it's actually a part of source or God looking back at you through the eyes of another. Mm -hmm. 
Ebal. That is, uh, I believe, sometimes referred to as God consciousness. A absolutely. And, you know, I just, from my perspective, that's what we're here to do. From that level of consciousness, we can heal the damage that we've caused to the earth and to each other and to our relationships to each other as humans. It's certainly not going to happen from, as Einstein said, from the level of consciousness that we created the problem. And all of our actions, and for that matter, our, our words and our thoughts stem from consciousness. You know, it's a state of being that precedes the thought, that precedes the words, that precedes the actions. So my intention is to go to that level of cause. Now, when we have a group together, you know, because I could sit and chant in my room, right, you know, and mm -hmm. in the comfort of my own home, which I, I do. But when we gather together, our energy is magnified exponentially. It's not just the sum of our intention together, but we are magnified exponentially, holographically. And we can use this state that we've attained to send love and healing to the earth, just to let Mother Earth, for one, know that her children are awakening and we remember that we're a part of her. But there's life force energy that is shared. And as tiny as we are compared to the planet, I believe that that is gratefully accepted. And Mother Earth obviously has the life force energy to constantly give birth to new life and even new life forms. So it can only help in her healing herself and also help us to awaken uh, en masse and change our behaviors, which are causing so much uh, trauma to the biosphere and the web of life here, which is so precious, so rare in the universe and so beautiful. I do believe that we can return to a state of balance. And it may incorporate the technological world. You know, there's levels of consciousness in nature, and I would just postulate that per perhaps technology is also another level of consciousness that we have co-created. And maybe there is a way to integrate the ancient ways that the indigenous people um, held of living in harmony and communication with the intelligence of nature 